Tennessee Tech head coach Bobby Wilder, first game with the Golden Eagles will be this weekend when they take on Middle Tennessee, a longtime rival dating back to when MTSU was in the OVC. So, Coach, how about some general thoughts on your team, and then we'll go into some questions. Uh, very excited with with where we've come from the last 10 months through um, the players that returned, the uh, players that joined our team. We've, we've got a really good mix. I feel good about the development. Right now, Kyle, everything is about the process. It's about implementing our aim high philosophy. It's about getting the players focused on the process of winning. Um, we're still learning a lot about each other. Obviously, it's tough when you first game in your new program. You, you got to play up to an FBS, but that's the, you know, the hand we've been dealt. We got to deal with um, biggest question on everybody's mind is the quarterback situation, which uh, we've got a competition there. I feel good about both the players. Uh, Jordan Potts has experience from last year. He played as a, a true freshman, um, you know, had some, some good performances last year. He's had a, a good camp. He's, he's very dynamic, Kyle. He's, got the ability to throw from the pocket. We'll do more with him in movement because he runs so well. He's such a good athlete. It's like having a, you know, a running back at, at the quarterback position. And then Dylan Leibel, uh, quarterback that joined us uh, in January is more of that pocket guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Really good, really good arm talent. Throws the ball well. So both guys are going to play. Both guys bring something different. Uh, to our offense. They allow us to be dynamic in different ways with what we're doing. They make it a little bit tougher on the defense. So that's been really good. Um, biggest thing, Kyle, is just trying to get healthy. Um, we've been so banged up in camp to the point where we had to we had to cut some practices out and just do some special things that are about health and, uh, and rehab. And, you know, that part of it's been a challenge because we had to change what we were doing practice wise. So we're, we're working to get back healthy and, and working to put ourselves in a good position for the opener. Anybody's got a question for coaching, just let me know down the chat and I will call on you and then you can unmute yourself. Um, coach. So what's, you've been at other stops. What's the first game at a new school like as the head coach? It's always, <clears throat> it's exciting. Uh, there's a newness to it. There's an excitement level here uh, on campus and all the credit goes to, to President Oldham and the direction he has set with what he wants to happen um, with the football program. As you know, Kyle, the fan base here has been, they've been loyal. They've been overly patient. Uh, there hasn't been winning teams here uh, really in the last 12 years since 2011 when Watson Brown was the head coach and they won the, the championship and went to the playoffs has um, has been some, some difficult seasons here and, and that had to be met from an administration tam standpoint the support what the program needed they've done that so there's a there's an excitement level uh, it's been non-stop every day for 10 months with trying to implement the aim high philosophy and what we need to be successful as tech so I feel really good about the stability of the program and the direction we're moving in um, tell us a little bit about your opponent, just what you've seen from them and what you expect to see from them this weekend. Yeah, really, this is really interesting. The, the first game now, Kyle, in college football with the transfer portal, there's so much newness. You know, Coach Mason's team at middle is not unlike our team at Tech from the standpoint of you've got so many new faces. And when you have coaching changes, there's new staff members. So you, you're trying to figure out who that other team is is and and what they're going to be so there'll be that that feeling out process in the first quarter you know what what are both teams doing with their systems on special teams defense offense um i've always been impressed with with middle uh coached against them and conference usa i've been impressed with the players that they have as you know middle's always played a a difficult schedule they always you know they play the alabamas of the world the missouris of the world they're playing up all the time, not unlike what we're doing this year, going to middle week one and Georgia week two. So that makes it challenging, but, but middle football has always been, you know, the players play hard, uh, they play physical. Uh, so I expect that's what we'll see Saturday night from what will be a, I assume a traditional, traditional middle Tennessee football team. 
I know you've talked to fans and supporters uh, since you've gotten there. I'm going to assume they've told you that uh, this is a rival that they like to play dating back to the old days because it was when they were in the league, it was a, it was a heated rivalry. Yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, Thomas Cohorn, our SID, just put out an interesting article about the history of the game and, and the teams. You know, unfortunately, with all the transformation and college football we've lost a lot of these regional games you think of middle tennessee's in murfreesboro tennessee tech um we're we're, we're right here close we're 90 minutes away you know the schools are so close and unfortunately when teams move up levels or make adjustments sometimes you you lose that so i'm glad we're playing this game it's it's a, an important game to a lot of our alumni the history of the two schools, even though middle is now bigger, they're FBS, we're FCS. There's still some, there's still some magic to being able to play teams that are, that are close by and an interest for the fan base. Outside of win or loss or in, in health, what, are, what's, what are you most looking forward to your team doing on Saturday and then the game you'll be pleased with that happen? Sure. Yeah. The, the biggest aspect as a head coach you're looking for and, Week one is really three really important things. Number one, your your organization, you know, the management from everybody, from everybody on the sports staff for the players. You, you want to make that as smooth as you can for the players, how the game goes, that transition. That's always number one is, is you manage all the details from travel and hotel and meetings and meals and everything you do up to the game and then how we perform on the sideline for the players. That's number one. Number two, the player's ability to – play as hard as they can for six seconds. And then that mindset of being able to play the next play, as I tell the players, there's, there's going to be good. There's going to be some not so good and our ability to respond. And then number three, anytime my philosophy has been anytime you play up when you're playing an opponent that is bigger than you is you're, you're trying to put yourself in a position in the second half where you have an opportunity to win. You're trying to have that ability to be in that football game get into the fourth quarter and you've got an ability to win the game. So uh, if I see those three things Saturday from a head coaching perspective, I'll be pleased. Well, coach, we appreciate your time today. Best of luck this weekend. And we'll talk to you at this same time next week. All right. You got it, Kyle. Thanks for having me.